Racist father denies daughter's Indian boyfriend. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll check it out. What was wrong with that other kid she was seeing? What's his name? You mean David? Yeah, Mr. All-American. Quarterback of the football team. Dad owns a hardware store down the street. I go get my tools there. Yeah, I don't know. That's between her and David. What's the story in this new guy, anyhow? I'm not sure. All I know is that his name is Sam. He met a Fuck, this is gonna be bad. He's going to school to be a this is gonna be bad. Doctor, huh? Well, let's see what he's all about. Hey, guys. Whoa, speak of the devil. Wow, honey. I love that dress. Your father and I were just <laughs> talking about Sam. That's his name, right? Yeah, it is. Um, He's... Indeed. He's going to school to be a doctor, right? Yeah, he is. Um, he plans on it after we graduate. He's already been accepted to a lot of different schools. Well, that sounds lovely. When will your boyfriend be here? I guess he's here now. Um, he's early. I'll just get that. Dude. Pops is about to trip the fuck out. Hey. He's about to lose his shit. What? He's about to You're lose gorgeous. it. Thank you. What'd you bring? Uh, chicken tikka masala. It's Indian dish. Oh yeah, he about to lose his shit. Smells good. You ready to meet my parents? Yes. Mom, Dad, I want you to meet my boyfriend, Samir Adikshan. It's nice to meet you. Samar, is it? It's Samir, but you can call me Sam. Uh, nice to meet you, Mrs. Farber. Mr. Farber. <laughs> you, you guys, you got me. That's great. Your boyfriend? What, what are you, the Uber Eats guy? Here to deliver some food for our neighbors? They order out all the time. <laughs> What? Yeah, this is not the Uber Eats guy. This is my boyfriend, Samir. Sorry, I'm not better looking, sir. Wait, seriously? Yeah, seriously. Samir Dixit? What kind of name is that even? Yes, it is Indian. What kind of Indian? The dot or the feather? Bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's offensive, but I'm from Mumbai. I thought you said he's on the basketball team. He's way too short. I said they met at a basketball game. Yes, that's right. I was providing water for the athletes on the team and I saw your gorgeous daughter. Oh shit. Uh, she seemed thirsty, so I brought her a cup of water and introduced myself. Oh Jesus, my daughter's dating the water boy. Dad! You're being extremely rude to Samir. He's trained to be a physical therapist, so he takes care of the team. Honey, relax. Relax? You want me to relax when our daughter's dating Aladdin over here? That was a great American film. It's not even Aladdin. It's a boo, the monkey. Hey, <laughs> that is enough. Bro. I'm sorry if I offended you, sir. I didn't mean to be burden on your family. I'll see myself out. Samir, wait. Damn, dude. I swear no, you an asshole. I need to talk to you in the room now. That's crazy. Your wife about to divorce you for a nigga. Watch. Samir, wait. What? My daddy's not always thoughtful about what he says and... Yeah, we, we know this. from a different generation. It is not right for him to talk to people like that. I know I have an accent, I'm brown skin. But that's not right. I know. Imagine if she brought home a black guy. I know, I'm sorry. I... You'd have a heart attack. Talk to him, it, it'll be okay. He'll just, he'll get past it. Please, let's not fight. Come on, I don't wanna, I don't wanna end tonight on a bad note. You know what? Forget it. Samir. Samir, please. Oh, come on, Samir? man. Come back. 
That night, Samir and Andrea got into a huge fight. Samir was extremely upset because he was experiencing racism firsthand from the very father of the girl he's dating. What upset him the most was Andrea was not sticking up for him more. After not seeing eye to eye with things, Samir ended up leaving as Andrea sat there calling out to him. What is your problem? My problem? Our daughter's dating an Indian boy. Doesn't that bother you? No, why would it? Why would I care what ethnicity she dates? The only thing that matters is that he has morals and treats her with respect, and that's all you should care about too. But she's dating the freaking water boy for Christ's sake. He's training for physical therapy. He loves helping people. And last I checked, Physical therapists make a heck of a lot more than construction workers do. Ooh, shit. You should keep your ego in check when calling out other people's careers. Take time to think about that while you're sleeping on the couch tonight, alone. Damn. Yeah, no booty. How was your night? Good. No thanks to you. What do you expect? You go from dating Mr. All-American, high school quarterback, to Mowgli from the Jungle Book. Bro, who comes up with these things? Who comes up with these lines, bro? Wait, wait, wait. It's not too late. I can call David's dad down at the hardware store, get you guys back together, you'll be with a real winner. A real winner, huh? That's delusional. Do you want to know why I broke up with David? Yes, I would. He used to hit me. That's not a metaphor for something else. I mean, he used to physically hit me. He would hit me when he was angry. He would hit me when he was drunk. Sometimes he'd hit me for no reason at all. What the fuck? But you know why I stayed with him? For you. I wanted to make you happy because you liked him. I'm dating Samir because he's a real gentleman and he treats me with respect. He's a good person and that is way more attractive to me than being some star athlete. Something to think about while you're on the couch tonight, alone. Being your meat. Poor dude. Or not you, but the other guy. He's so cute. Hey, Bobby. Bobby. What do you want, Dad? Bill, can you give us a minute? Apologize for interrupting, but I'd just like to chat for a couple minutes. I wanted to say I'm sorry for what I said the other night. I <laughs> he said Mowgli from Jungle Book. <laughs> really That's crazy. I, um... I was raised to be pretty hard-headed, and I feel it's taken a toll on our family, and I want to apologize to you for that. I'm sorry about the things I said to Samir the other night. He seems like a good kid, and if he loves you and treats you with respect, that's what I want. I want you to be happy. Wow, um, thank you for saying that, Dad. I can tell you really mean it. Honestly, the person you need to apologize to isn't me, it's Samir. And I don't know where he is. He called him Abu, Aladdin, and Mowgli. You, and I don't know if he'll ever take me back now. Don't get too far ahead of yourself. I took care of that too. What do you mean? Hey, beautiful. <laughs> Samir! you hated me. Hated you? I can never hate you. I caught up with Samir and told him that just because I made a mistake, he didn't need to do the same. So, Samir, thank you for accepting my apology. You're good. Would you guys like to join us for the dinner at my family's restaurant? It's Indian food. That sounds delicious. Is it spicy? <laughs> Bro, you just said sorry. <laughs> you just... You just said sorry. <laughs>
You just said sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. You do not know what spicy food. Oh my god. Food. He just apologized. Have you guys had Indian food though? That that's fire. I hope you enjoyed today. All right, y'all. Tell me what you guys thought about this video down below. The insults, crazy. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.